Hi everybody, my name is Patrick Gaggiano. I'm the manager of Spirits Education and Development for Horizon Beverage. And you are tuning in to Shed Talk, trademark. Where I sit around outside my shed and drink whiskey while talking into a phone to probably no one. The purpose of this series is to take all of the mumbo jumbo and legal regulatory jargon that are on our favorite bottles of spirits and break it down and see what is actually going on in that bottle. It's golden hour here at the shed, and that means one thing, overproof whiskey. So last video we did single barrel. Now to jump up to the upper echelon and turn it up to 11, we're doing cask strength or barrel strength. Let me paint you a romantic picture. You and your best friend at a bar, having a couple whiskeys, bartender picks up the last round, all your favorite music on the jukebox, you stumble outside, there's a beautiful sunset, it's golden hour. You walk over, you see a Rick house, you open the door, it opens wide up. You go inside, you go to the top floor, you find a screwdriver, you screw it inside of your favorite barrel, and boom, you got cast strength. Where a single barrel, you can still proof down with water, and you can still filter. With cask strength, you can do neither of those things. With cask strength, we are saying that whatever is in that barrel is now in this bottle. People really walking by in the middle of production. Couple points on cast strength. One, it's gonna be hot. Cast strength is the whiskey you wanna drink when your son has been up since 4 a.m. and now it's 7 p.m. and he's finally gone to sleep and you know it's gonna burn, but you just wanna feel alive. The other thing is that it's going to fluctuate greatly as far as proof and as far as taste. And again, we said that happens a little bit with a small batch, a little bit with a single barrel, uh, but with cast strength, it's gonna be kind of a little bit all over the map, 120s to 130s. With the Sagamore cast strength here, nice smooth 112. You'll see other things that go up into the 125s to 130, 135. If you can get past the heat and the alcohol, you will be rewarded with the most amazing flavor of barrel you'll ever taste. Tobacco, cigar, chocolate, vanilla, cherry, absolutely phenomenal. If you're a whiskey lover, seek out the cast strength. Got the whole neighborhood walking by here. Now, two tips for how hot cast strength or barrel strength is. One, ice cold beer is your best friend. A little glass of cast strength, a little bit of beer, boom, 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 Captain and Tennille, thunder and lightning. Shout out to Zacate, love you. Other thing is if you're dealing with a really overproof cast strength, take a piece of Parmesan cheese eat it right before you take a sip kind of put it all around your mouth and as you swallow the cheese take a sip of the whiskey the fat solubles in that cheese are going to attach with the alcohol components in that whiskey that's cast strength and it's going to cancel each other out and instead of getting a mouthful of alcohol burn you're going to subside that and you're going to get all of the flavor of the actual barrel if you're drinking cask strength you just automatically at some point sunglasses show up on your face it's bedtime